Mr. Chairman, Wesley Thomas, SD3. I would like to amend the abortion legislative priority. I'd like to strike everything after past legislation two and replace it with the 2016 abortion legislative priority that we passed at last convention, which would read, pass legislation to abolish abortion by enacting legislation to stop the murder of unborn children and to ignore and refuse to enforce any and all federal statutes, regulations, executive orders, and court rulings which would deprive an unborn child of the right to life. So replace the current wording with the wording from the 2016 priority. That's correct. Okay, there you go. Thank you. All right, is there a second? Okay, before we get to debate, I see an interrupting motion light. Jason Vaughn, SD5, point of personal privilege. Could you please place a star or some asterisk, something, by those priorities that were that we had last time, and yet and were not adopted by the the topics of the priorities that were not adopted by the legislature yet, so we can know uh, which ones those are. Sure. The, the only wording that is the, exactly the same as the 2016 priorities is that of the constitutional carry priority. The topics of property tax and religious freedom privacy were included on our 2016 priorities, but the wording is different. Uh, and that's the same thing for the abortion priority. An interrupting motion light on microphone one. Yes, Frederick Sunderman, SD4. The legislative priorities, does it include a censure if the legislature's a censure option if the legislative priorities are not fulfilled by our elected officials? And if, if not, what is our method of censure? Yeah, um, censure is covered in the rule, and you can review the rule and evaluate that. Yeah, yeah sir, you, you. you changed the rules and did not publish them this morning, and that's why I'm asking. Actually, we, we did. We published the rule. Um, I don't believe Rule 44 was changed at all during the committee report. You can check the committee report and see, but we passed it. Well, yeah, we passed it. Um, I see... Some for and against the report and not, or wait a minute, we're, we have an amendment. The amendment, and when I see some for and against the amendment, the author, did you speak for? No, I have not yet. Please. I would like to. Please. <laughs> Thank you. Mr. Chairman, I'm going to speak in favor of this motion. Um, I wanted to like to explain it because it might not quite make sense to people. Um, I'm glad constitutional carry was brought up because if we told our legislators in the constitutional carry priority that we wanted constitutional carry but only when our legislators were comfortable with it and until then we was wanted cheaper licensing would we be okay with that i don't think that's a good thing to do because that would water down what this party was asking the legislature to do it would be a step backwards and i'm afraid in my opinion, that's what the changes that came out of the committee do to the abortion priority. Mr. Chairman, if we have learned anything from President Trump, it is that you do not negotiate this way. This is not negotiating from a position of strength. You don't concede the, your principles. And how is this going to look to the world and to our legislators when the Republican Party of Texas changes 
its abortion priority to include anything less than total and complete immediate abolition. It's going to look like we're backing off a strong stance after only two years. Mr. Chairman, that is not good for the RPT. We should not project an image that the Texas GOP is ready to stop trying something after only one cycle. This was just added two years ago. We should demand that Texas legislators establish justice and stop regulating murder. Mr. Chairman, we need to ignore Roe, not comply with it. We should have faith that God will be with us. Here we stand. We can do no other. Sorry. God help us. Thank you. Time. <clears throat> Nah, that's one four. We have one against on microphone three. Thank you, John Siegel, SD25. I'm speaking against this amendment. The Republican Party is the party of life. The Democrat Party has become more and more extremist, defending abortion. The Republican Party has stood up strong and said, no, we oppose Roe v. Wade. We oppose the injustice of elective abortion. As you were reading through your platform, you saw multiple planks that reiterated that. You saw it in our principles. You saw it time and time again. We all agree Roe v. Wade is the most unjust ruling of the Supreme Court in our nation's history. What we don't agree on is the strategy. We're having a family discussion about what is the best strategy to stop the murder of innocent human life. All week, the Legislative Priorities Committee very respectfully, very reasoned discussion about what is the best strategy. I am convinced, and the organization I work for, Texas Right to Life, is convinced that incrementalism, prudent incrementalism, is the only winning strategy to actually stop abortions. There is no shortcuts to undo the worst Supreme Court hearing uh, ruling in our history. There is no silver bullet, or else the pro-life movement and those who have dedicated their lives to this cause would have used it. We have to pass prudent legislation that challenges the very moral and legal foundation of Roe v. Wade. We support pro-life legislation that saves lives immediately. Time. That has a good cultural conversation to help convert those that are wrong on this issue. Time. I've got an interrupting motion over here on one. Interrupting motion. Okay. Robert Quill. Robert. There we go. Senate District 3. Point of information, sir. I'll be brief. I know we've run out of time once again at this convention. I don't want to roll back the clock. I don't want to go back to lunch. I don't want to do any of that. But what I'd like to do is ask very basically, since we did not cover the um, resolutions. Sorry, that's not an interrupting motion. Okay. Um, if I could go back to, uh, let's see, that was four against on microphone three, two. On microphone two. For, for this amendment. For the amendment. Jill Robbins, SD 24. Every abortion has a ripple effect in society. Every one of the 61 million of them. Initially, mine profoundly affected at least three people. Me, the child I aborted, and my mother, you see, my mother, caught quite off guard, had to sign for that abortion. I was 17. That, my friends, is what regulating abortion has always looked like. Had abortion been a criminal act, my mother would never have been put in the dilemma of having to carry the weight of that horrific guilt into her old age. Fast forward 10 or 12 years, newly married, my husband remembers me waking in the night, weeping over what I had done all those years before. You see, the ripples continue. Many of you in this room have experienced that ripple effect in your own lives Time. and families. I see an interrupting motion on microphone one. Just read. 
Okay, never mind. I see uh, that was in favor. I see an against on microphone three. Hi, my name, my name is Michael Alberts from Senate District 6, and I am speaking uh, in opposition to this amendment. Um, so basically, this uh, is just removing uh, any other types of options, and it, it precludes um, at least some sort of incremental approach to at least allow us to get closer to where we want to go. This uh, all or nothing approach is just not practical, and I sympathize with the approach though, please. Uh, don't misunderstand what I'm uh, trying to say here, but at least let's allow the priority original language as it was um, presented in our booklet to stay that way. It's just uh, an easier way to help us get to where we want to go. Thank you. Okay, we have an against. Uh, sorry, that was against. Um, we have a four on microphone one. Christine Kalmbach, SD7 in Harris County. I speak for this legislation, this wording, I'm sorry, of this. It's accurate. It's what it, it is. It is murder of unborn children. Our plank, I'm sorry, our legislative priority should reflect what the national does and s offer the sanctity of life. It just needs to reflect what it is. There's no reason to have the other one. This is accurate. Okay, that's three, four, and the final against at microphone two. Ann Hedingers, Senate District 2, also State Director for Concerned Women for America. For the last 20 years or more, we have been abolishing abortion in Texas because we've done it through bills beginning like women's right to know, and again through this a sonogram bill. On through the time, we have been abolishing abortion in millions of children's of lives. We need to continue that. We don't need to strike that last paragraph, which we need again to introduce legislation, pass legislation like Prenda and like the heartbeat bill to abolish abortion in the lives of millions of, of Texan children, te Texas children. So please do not, do not accept this amendment. Thank you. Okay, that is three, four, and three against. A debate is ended on this amendment. All in favor of the amendment, please say aye. aye. All opposed to the amendment, say nay. The nays have it. The amendment fails.